Welcome back. Democratic State Representative Evan Goyke will be Milwaukee's new city attorney. Goyke unseated the incumbent, Terman Spencer, 64 to 36 percent, but he isn't leaving the state legislature just yet. Representative Goyke joins us now in studio off his win on Tuesday night. Welcome back to the show. Good Thanks to see you. Me, we'll see talk you. about the city attorney's office in a second. First, you're not immediately resigning your right. seat. Why right. is that? Uh, in the state assembly, there is a narrow margin to uphold Governor Vito's, uh, Governor Evers' veto. Excuse me. Uh, my colleague Marisabel Cabrera was elected circuit court judge, and under the law, she must leave the legislature um, by August one. That makes that margin even thinner, and um, uh, there's too much at stake. I'm unwilling to hand the keys of our democracy to the assembly speaker, and so I'll be able legally to do both jobs, and am ready and willing to serve the people of the 18th should there be. Uh, issues that come up in Madison. Is that a rather pessimistic view of how our state government <laughs> operates? It, uh, it's an educated view. You know, I've been there for 11 years. I've seen it happen before, and I guess my response is I'm prepared for it to happen. You specifically mentioned uh, the Assembly Speaker. Are, are you specifically talking about Assembly Speaker Robin Voss in your decision solely targeting yeah, him? Yeah, he, he influences my decision quite a bit, and I, he is, you know, I know him and have worked with him over the years, and I think him quite capable of taking advantage of, or quite likely to take advantage of having a supermajority uh, and, and impaneling uh, extraordinary sessions and changing the way we operate in the state. To those who say, listen, this, this doesn't look right, you're, you're double dipping, you're, you're, you're doing whatever, you say what to those critics? No, I, I understand that. Again, as I've explained, I, I think it, would be, it wouldn't be right to hand over a supermajority. Um, I'm going to do both jobs. I work hard. I've had that proven track record. There's a lot of responsibility and a lot of work to do in the city attorney's office, but um, I also think the people of the 18th Assembly District deserve to have a voice should things come up in the months ahead. At the same time, come November, you are not running for re-election. Correct. For I've seat. announced that I'm not seeking re-election, so I will serve out the balance of my term. Uh, I would um, resign early should the numbers change, right? There may be a scenario in which legislative Republicans resign early. That has happened in previous sessions. Any endorsements for your seat or someone you'd like uh, to? I, I, I'm really excited. There's a, uh, an older woman from Wauwatosa named Margaret Arney running. I, I think really highly of her. Um, I'm excited that she's running and, you know, I, I think I'm getting to the position to support her, but it's also early and, you know, more people may raise their hand. Uh, let's talk about the city attorney's office here in Milwaukee. You won by a pretty significant margin. Did Terman Spencer call you? Uh, no, I haven't talked to him yet. Um, that's obviously on the list of things to do in the days ahead. Are you surprised that he did not call you and concede or congratulate you? No, I, I mean, I, I don't know what it was like four years b before when he unseated Grant Langley. Um, it wasn't my expectation and my focus is just moving forward. When you look ahead to the Republican National Convention this summer, you, you obviously have not even uh, unpacked your boxes or gotten into your office. But what role will the city attorney's uh, office play? Is there a significant potential? Yeah, there, there is both in the lead up to, during and after. Uh, it, it could be very substantial. Uh, the city attorney's office works closely with the city in, you know, signing contracts and procurement. And there, you know, are huge additions to, you know, I think most publicly you've seen the security force and yep. uh, security details for that week. But think about the First Amendment implications. We will have uh, visitors from around the world, around the country, and and that's what really concerns me: are these outside forces that may come to our city you know, protests, counter protests and counter counter protests and how we respect the First Amendment and allow people to uh, give a voice to their political opinions and beliefs um, and do that safely. We will be, you know, in the trenches every day, making sure that and monitoring and helping the Milwaukee, Milwaukee Police Department to make sure it goes smoothly. That could be a tall task. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I was previously going to not be in Milwaukee for the RNC, uh, but we'll be here and we'll be ready for it. We take it seriously. Newly elected city attorney, Representative Evan Goyke, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. Up next, the turnout.